Well, this year's Oscar winner for Best Action Short Film features a love story between an Israeli soldier and a Palestinian woman, all within the context of, get this, a musical comedy. Certainly an unlikely choice of topic the Middle East conflict is for a comedy. While well, Peter Viles is in Los Angeles, and he met the director and filed this report. It's unlike anything you've ever seen from Hollywood, a zany, absurd musical comedy about tensions in the West Bank. Almost hot. Almost hot. We love the garbanzo bean. Koshaki. Koshaki. In West Bank Story, a twist on West Side Story, <laughs> Jews dance with Arabs, a Palestinian girl falls in love with an Israeli soldier, Everyone wears a goofy hat. Was in the kosher and the biggest conflict is between rival falafel stands. Your side of the screen is encroaching on my side of the screen. No. It's a comedy so taboo that many in Hollywood warned Ari Sandel not to make it. When I first started to make the film, everyone said, you can't make a comedy about the Middle East. You can't make a comedy about the conflict. You can't turn a tragedy into a comedy. Nobody wants to see it. You're going to upset every Jew and every Arab. You're going to kill your career before it starts. Hi, welcome to Thomas Hunt. May I take your order? But Sandel was undaunted. A student filmmaker, he wanted to make a short film that would get him noticed and would make a point. And really, what I wanted to do was make a movie that was going to be pro-peace, have a positive message, um, be even-handed in the way it dealt with the situation so that Israelis would watch it and like the Arab characters, and Arabs would watch it and find themselves liking the Israeli characters. And that was really the intention. Stop, I tell. I'm just trying to give this hummus package to somebody. Hummus! With a shoestring budget, Sandel begged and borrowed to get the film made. It's okay. It's okay. The West Bank town in the film is really on a movie ranch 30 miles north of Los Angeles. So this was the checkpoint, and the idea was that was Israel, this was the West Bank, and the checkpoint was going that way. The son of an Israeli father, Sandel drew in part on his own studies and travels in the Middle East. I've been to Ramallah, I've been to uh, Bedouin uh, camps in, in, the, in, the, in the Negev, and I've been all, all over Israel as well. So, I, you know, I have experienced it as an outsider. I would never for a second say, I know how it is over there from personal experience. The cast is a collection of open-minded newcomers like A.J. Tannen, the cruel of Jews from New York to Moscow. who served in the Israeli military and plays the owner of the Israeli falafel stand. Ari is a true visionary and, and has real courage to like think of something that's so taboo. And, um, and then we read the script before we went into audition, and I loved it. I thought it was a hoot. I thought it was hilarious and completely original. Noreen DeWolf, a Muslim Indian American who plays the Palestinian girl, says it was a rare chance to play an Arab in a comedy. Here in Hollywood, the way that they portray Arabs, Muslims, everybody of that part of the world, even Indians, you know, is usually in a negative light. So it's really nice to have this this role of this, these Arab people who are really funny, and we have kebab hats, and we sing and we dance, and we're normal, you know, and we don't have this ulterior agenda. Do I look like a suicide bomber? On the festival circuit, the 21-minute movie was a big hit. She's okay with me. But then came the Dubai festival in a skeptical Arab audience. When one viewer stood up and said he didn't like Sandel's movie, that it trivialized the situation, half of the audience applauded. I said, look, this is not a historical explanation. It's not a political solution. It's not meant to be educational. This is a, a movie about hope to portray a feeling of hope, and that is it. And as I explained why I made the movie, you could see people's attitudes start to change. And these are all Arabs speaking on behalf of Palestinians, but they aren't Palestinian. They're Kuwaiti or Saudi or Iraqi or Lebanese. And finally, a Palestinian woman stood up in the back and said, I'm from Ramallah. It's OK to laugh, and I think this is hilarious. And everyone looked at her. 
and it was silence. And it was the most amazing feeling of validation. And then another guy stood up. He's like, I'm from Gaza. I want to buy a copy for my family. Where do I get a copy? And from that point on, the whole attitude changed. And then there was Oscar night. The film was nominated as Best Short. And this is what happened that night in the home of Ari Sandel's father. What? A Hollywood ending, if ever there was one. If it's going to change the world or do anything else, probably not. But if you know, if you can change a few minds, I get letters and emails from people all over the world. Israeli soldiers, professors from the University of Qatar, uh, Palestinians who ask for the DVD and talk about how much the, the movie means to them that there is somebody making something that's hopeful because there's just this sea of negativity out there. What if it doesn't work out between them? A sea of negativity that could not drown this hopeful voice. What place is that? Peter Viles for Inside the Middle East in Los Angeles.